okay in america whatever you do on tiktok don't twerk to a quran prayer um, you, you, like okay this is not our title because we actually do encourage you to twerk to a quran prayer this is just the title of the article that we read yes yeah i changed the title but i don't okay. think it was updated in the post. oh not in my notes i apologize well That's anyway we we can get into that in a second. Um, wait, wait, do people know like okay what twerking is? I think people well, know that. Right? Okay, I was gonna get into this later, but she's okay. not actually twerking. She's not uh. actually twerking in the video. She's just throwing it back. There's a difference. Yeah, There's I difference. noticed it too. I don't think she's not twerking, but anyway, she's just like. <laughs> um, yeah, there I wasn't a twerk. It was just a, you know. Um, okay. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead, so, Susanna. 17-year-old Nessa Barrett came under fire last month for posting a TikTok video of her and a friend dancing to the sound of a man reciting the Quran. The backlash across social media was swift, with many calling for a suspension of her account, where she has over 8 million followers. She issued wow. multiple apologies and stated, quote, You can be upset that what I had done was ignorant, but you cannot be upset at me for being hateful, as there just is no hate in me, end quote. She added that she used this audio because she saw a clip of a cute old man and had no idea that it was something so sacred. Um, on May 28th, she stated on Twitter that her and her family have all been doxxed and that people are coming to her home, banging on the door and taking videos of their property. Wow. But again, yeah. a correction, she's not actually twerking. That's the important information here. Okay? <laughs> yeah. Technically, like, it, it says a- in the one article that throwing it back is the TikTok equivalent of twerking. I don't know where they're coming up with that. The twerk I don't the know where they are either, but that, but you know, guys, I don't think that's the, the most important. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. You know, twerking yeah. is the most important issue in atheist republic. This mm-hmm. Okay, so whatever she was doing, the interesting thing is that these idiots who think that. Uh, think about compare these to these which one is more damaging to islam okay these people are like oh my god this is so insulting to islam blah 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 my god is crying i need to defend my poor sensitive weak ass pathetic god because he's he feelings are hurt no but 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 look look at what they're doing they're like okay this is damaging this is hurtful what did she do? She had the Quran. Was the Quran? They say is prayer, but was it the Quran? Re- it looks like Bismillah. Or I think it was an. I think it was an azan. Yeah, azan. Like, okay, so Islamic call to prayer, right? I think so. so. Okay, so but it's it not could be Quran prayer. Could be a Quran prayer. What is a Quran prayer? We don't have a Quran, Quran prayer. We have like Quran mm. recitation. Maybe azan, he was reciting what? the Quran. Reciting the Quran is not Quran prayer. And yeah, that is not I, think, I think I read somewhere that he oh was God, reciting guys. the Quran verses. I'm trying to say something. And the Azan <laughs> is also not prayer. Azan is the call to prayer. Anyways, it doesn't matter. What matters is that she they think this is damaging to Islam. But what they're doing, thankfully, is that, I mean, anything that is damaging to Islam is a good thing, first of all. Unfortunately, she didn't do it intentionally. Like if she did it intentionally, this she would be a hero. But unfor- like she's just getting backlash for something that she had no idea what she was doing, and she didn't deserve any of this. But what is actually damaging to Islam is the reaction to this, right? So the the people are showing how pathetic their religion is by being so butthurt about this, and the attention that this is getting is way more damaging to their religion than her twerking whatever the hell that she did right what, okay like they are embarrassing islam way more than what she could have done right so i mean if they if if they want to condemn anything that makes islam look bad then they should be condemning themselves i mean they have done a very effective job at embarrassing themselves and their religion and their god by the way this is I really wish I could see this video. Is it still up somewhere? Yeah, it's, let me find it's it. It's on um, medium.com has it. Mm. It was on uh, Instagram. I think we should like make this a trend. Can we make this a trend? 
twerking to the Quran recitation? Not the new draw Muhammad day. Yeah, why can we do that? Like, was this removed by her, or does the or did TikTok how many, remove it? How many countries will allow? I this? think she removed it because she was, you know, flagellating herself about how horrible the thing she had done, sure. and she's sorry, and it, she didn't do it on purpose, and please don't hate me, and. Well, I mean, I I agree. I agree that she's ignorant. Not that she's ignorant of the fact that she did something horrible, but the ignorant of the fact that what she did was not horrible, and she should not have been apologizing for that. Exactly. I mean, she's seventeen. She has no idea what she did. Like, this is not like we can't hold her. Like, oh no, be strong, stand to these Muslims. Like, she's like, what the fuck did I just step into? What is this? Like, she like she has no idea what's happening. She's like, oh my god, the the mob is coming at me. Like, I don't want to hold her into any of activist standards. Like, she's not like she's <laughs> not supposed to be held to those standards. Like, people if people are like, oh no, be strong, don't take don't. Most people cannot take. A, a sensitive mob of Muslims coming at them, like whatever she does is justified because, you know, it's not, you cannot expect uh, just an average, you know, well, she's not average, she has a lot of subscribers, but she cannot uh, expect like just non activists to respond the way that we hold activists, you know, the standards does not apply. Anyways, Jim is saying, just proves how sick and idiotic that religion is. No one can respect such a cruel religion, and yet they demand it without earning it. Uh, Richard is saying, imagine if things escalate and the religious and the TikTok cringe merchants do the world a favor and take each other out. 2020 can still be a good year. <laughs> this, guy, this guy really hates this guy really hates TikTok. Wow. Robin is saying TikTok has people on there degrading people with disabilities, including one where a sister looks down her little brother's pants. He has Down syndrome and proceeds to mock him. That's more pressing to deal with rather than some girl dancing to bullshit. Uh, guys, I'm hoping that people don't blame the platforms for, you know, it's not the platform that is, I mean, I know TikTok has uh, some issues. I don't know, whatever. But I just sent you the video in the private chat, by the way. I yeah. um, wanted to say that there are some articles that we're talking about. It wasn't just Muslims who are butthurt. I mean, they were the most butthurt. They get the most butthurt of butthurt. Mm. But uh, I was um, had done some research on this, and medium.com was saying the TikTok community was in an uproar. So TikTok community is everybody echoing a unified sentiment about the negative cycle of in ignorance from influences that was all too familiar. They act offensive. They post an insincere, insincere apology, shed some tears, take a break from social media, and then return as if nothing has happened. I mean, mm. the thing that they're saying, I mean, it's not just the Muslims. It's like this whole idea that somehow she's done something so terrible to people who this isn't even their religion. These aren't even sacred, you know, prayers to them. This mm. it, there's nothing that maybe some of these people have a relationship with Islam that they would find it offensive. But because. Other people find it offensive because it's religion, because of this fetishization, I think, that people have with Islam, especially on the left. The They're article right. was like very apologetic mm -hmm. towards the whole situation. Just like, what did they say? Really? Uh, yeah, moral of the story, You need you, if you have a huge following and platform on social media, you hold yourself accountable to the gravity of your actions. Fuck you! No, ser no seriously, fuck you. Okay, so he, imagine that if we applied the standard equally, okay? We, like, I mean, this is not even questionable that any video on TikTok, on Facebook, on YouTube that recites the Quran would have to be banned. They, okay, like compare compare how if you want to be insulted and if you want to be offended, look at the difference, okay? What is she did to, to their why are they so buttered? Oh, she was dancing next to her sacred whatever nonsense. Look how offensive they look where's my Quran? This motherfucker this stupid book, right? This 
this book says in it that I and the rest of you heathens here deserve to be tortured for eternity. Eternity. Okay. Mm -hmm. I that's offensive to me. Are you like and what are you what are you gonna do about that? What are these platforms are gonna do about that? Like which one is more offensive? Twerking next to a next you know with the with the recitation of this book or the actual promotion of torture of people who don't believe in this book which one is more offensive so are we going to apply the same standard like are you guys going to be like oh okay yeah and all the all the bible verses and all the quran verses they all going to have to be removed from youtube from facebook from twitter from tiktok why are we not applying the same standard i find this offensive does you know does religion get a, a extra rights over do they get to say like oh, this is offensive and we don't get to say this stuff like how, who comes up with this standards like ah this is it's so fucking stupid obvious like I, people are like some people are like oh yeah maybe if you're looking that way, look at it that way there's no other way to look at it if you want to apply the same standards None of this shit would be legal. None of this shit would be legal. If these same ideas in this book, okay, or in this other book, if it was, if they, if they were wrapped, if they were being sold to people, are there any other label other than religion? Nobody would be tolerating them. Okay. Nobody would be tolerating them. And yeah, okay, so ban the Quran. Should we like do that? No, we shouldn't because we're not, we're not, we're not, we, we, we defend people's rights to express whatever fucking bullshit they want to express, even if the bullshit is like, oh, yeah, you need to die for your views. You know, you should be beheaded because of your views. Or like, okay, you can say that as long as you don't actually do it. I, I defend your right to say such. I defend your right to say I, should, I as an ex-Muslim, need to die. I don't defend your right. I don't defend you doing it. Actually, if you actually try to do it, I think you should get arrested. But I, as an ex-Muslim, defend your fucking right to say, go out and publicly say why I should be beheaded. I mean, can, is am I not being tolerant enough? Like, is that not? The most you can expect from somebody from defending your rights, but apparently that's not enough. That's not enough for you idiots. You were like, yeah, of course I could say it, but also you don't get to, I don't have this, we, we do not apply the same standards for you. Because not only if you say like, imagine if we said, you know what? Muslims should be killed because of their ideas. People would be rightfully outraged, right? Mm -hmm. But no, that's, that's, not, that's not even required for us to get outraged. You just have to be like, Oh, this is bullshit. And like, what? No, this is so offensive. You shouldn't be able to say that. Like, think about how, you know, how unequal the standards are. It's like one is way over here and the other one is way over there. It's so hypocritical. I can't even believe that we have to mention it. Anyways, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I ranted for you. Go ahead. Okay, well, I wanted Armin. to make a comment. Oh, go ahead. Rivka, 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 go ahead. I can come up later. Um, the, also, I mean... Agreeing with everything you, you just said, right. there. I think there's also a little bit more to this even that my guess is if someone were throwing it back, the TikTok equivalent of twerking, to some a Christian prayer, a Hindu prayer, uh, it, I just don't think in the current environment that we're in of sort of new orientalism in a way a little bit revert that that this would get as much play in terms of in the national media you know all over facebook i feel like and i don't want to say that you know this always happens but often we're in this time now that anything that has to do with Islam is so heightened, whether good, bad, indifferent, everyone's, you know, uh, yeah. about it. I, I just feel like, you know, there's all kinds of media and art making even really offense, some somewhat offensive references, like, you know, the Piss Christ exhibit, mm -hmm. you know, the deicide, that band, you know, I Hate God, another band, you know, and I just don't see people defending so much the 
poor people who are upset about the band deicide. Right. But Hindus do, though. Hindus are Hindus, sensitive. yeah. Yeah. Hindus are sensitive. Hindus and Muslims are competing with each other over who is the most sensitive. But anyway, Shopan, you wanted to mention something. Yeah, so I wanted to, uh, well, first of all, with uh, agreeing with Rivka, yes, like, even like Hindus are sensitive, but among like the Indian liberals, the Indian left, there are also people like this who are like constantly they insult Hinduism. Like they're not many, but there are people who constantly. I was in one such group where we ins uh, insulted Hinduism like really, really bad. And then one day I just said, "Yeah, Muhammad was a pedophile," and they immediately blocked me from that group. All right, but say don't say pedophile, say child minister. <laughs> All right, yeah. yep. And also, I, I I had an idea for you, Armin. Like, uh, you made a video of, of burning the Quran. So I was like, uh, you can do this. Like, you can tear off the pages of Quran and feed it to a goat. And when the goat poops, you can say literally, Quran is shit. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, hey, hey. Okay, whatever. <laughs> I mean, it's it's Islamic. It's very interesting because Muslims got angry when I burned the Quran, even though their third Khalifa himself burned a whole bunch of Quranic verses. Anyways, that's the news. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why, What has what's holding you back, okay? If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like bell <laughs> and also if you if you're not getting notifications and stuff because youtube is not telling people that we have shows because youtube is like oh this person told us that they want to get your shows right they want to get your videos but nah you we think is no and oh look oh they also hit the bell button but nah you guys are too controversial we want to show them mainstream stuff we want to show them cnn or cat videos or whatever but even there are people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link, there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah subscribe to our newsletter as well and share share our videos because you know we do get demonetized that's an obvious on every one of our videos so f that but we don't care about that anymore <laughs> but we also get deprioritized and that's even more damaging to us deprioritize what does that mean that means we're not we don't show up on the suggested you know videos on the right and all that you know on the on people's home pages and that's how channels grow Unfortunately, we can't grow, so we need you guys to share our videos.